Barry, I have a question here. Um, how can we get that wall built? All right. Um, we've had a basically a congressional crisis that has been going on for the last uh, three to four weeks with the government shutdown. Uh, we have people acting crazy. Um, a lot of protests. So, um, what do you what do you think it's going to take to get this wall built? Well, I've got a couple answers, and uh, it's changed a little bit, Jermaine, uh, since uh, Trump agreed to reopen the government uh, and got nothing in response other than a Democratic promise uh, from the House leadership with Nancy Pelosi to negotiate in good faith, which melted down almost, um, gosh, within their first meeting. Um, as a result, Trump has come out with some interesting statements, and I've got one suggestion to him. I know that he should be watching Conservative Nation, and if he does, he'll pick up my free advice, and that's this. Uh, the wall is being built as we sit here and talk today, um, not in the manner in terms of expansiveness that the president wants. And I personally am a supporter of a secure border. I think it's the obligation of a sovereign nation to uh, defend and protect its uh, identifiable borders. Without that, you really don't have a country. You just have an area. And that area is open to interpretation based on who's flooding across your border in any given day. So I'm in favor of definable, protectable, and identifiable borders. And the only way you do that is by marking them clearly, defending them with walls, barriers, people, electronics, and so forth. Um, Trump has made an announcement in the last couple of days, Jermaine, that the wall is going ahead with construction, with mm -hmm. monies that have been appropriated. I think he's got two more opportunities, and they are the following. Number one, there is talk about reallocation of large amounts of money uh, through DHS, Department of uh, Homeland Security, uh, among other departments, uh, including the Pentagon, where a billion here and a billion there, and pretty soon you've got enough for a, a wall to be appropriated, that the money is already there, and with the approval of the various agencies could be diverted to wall construction. And the second idea I have, which is being discussed now, is I think Trump should go before uh, Congress next week for the State of the Union and say, look, let's put this in perspective, ladies and gentlemen. And he's not really talking to the Congress because they're already dug in. He's talking to the American people. He just happens to be in the Congress. What I would do if I was him is I would make a list of all the goofball projects that the United States spends gazillions of dollars on that you've never heard of, that I've never heard of, that we don't even know about, like bird things and migration things and, you know, warming of the ice patch in Greenland's lower quadrant <laughs> and ocean currents and, you know, hundreds of millions to billions of dollars being allocated. And they're basically rounding errors in a weekend of the U.S. budget. We give more money to Honduras Ecuador and San Salvador, then honestly, this wall will cost in the next couple of years. But nobody cares. It's this is political. And this is what does Nancy Pelosi call it? A moral. Now, that's Nancy Pelosi, I've got to tell you, that has a wall around her estate in New York, the wall that uh, my friend Laura Loomer just jumped over and got arrested for doing. Um, uh, Chuck Schumer has a wall and every other major uh, congressional and uh, Hollywood celebrities, they, they all have walls. They have walls to keep people out that might screw with their family. But they want people to cross the border that are illegal who they can sign up to vote Democrat. So look, if you're some scumbag from South America or even a nice person, and you don't want to wait in line, come on in. We'll sign you up to vote for us, and uh, that'll keep us in power. That's the whole plan. If Donald Trump stands up there next week and says, I'm taking money, I'm going to declare an emergency, because it is an emergency, and it's less money 
than we've spent on the following 29 goofball things you've never even heard of. It'll put things in perspective. And here's the icing, Jermaine. Yesterday, Border Patrol agents with ICE interrupted a shipment of enough fentanyl, probably from China, to get this kill 150 million Americans. Now, this is ICE That's crazy. that has been declared the KKK by California Senator Kamala Harris that has been uh, protested so severely by Ocasio-Cortez, the new socialist uh, congresswoman from Brooklyn, that uh, she wants it disbanded. And she voted against opening the government because some money was going to ICE. These maniacs want to eliminate the guards at the border. That's like taking the guards away from San Quentin or one of the national prisons. But that same group interrupted enough drugs yesterday to kill 150 million people. Trump just has to show the video and say, this is what I'm trying to protect you against America, which is why most Americans like walls and every rich person likes walls. They all have walls around their own house. So I think if Trump presents it like that and doesn't call anybody names, uh, we all know what the names are. I think people will go, you know what? He's right. Let him take the money from uh, Brazil. Let him take the money from Australian sheep herding goat um, studies. Let's not study the whales this quarter. Let's build the wall instead. And I, I think people will be okay with that. What do you think? Well, I, I think people will be okay with it too, uh, Barry. I think that uh, what's going on is that um, the Democrats have really no play whatsoever. Um, what What is going on with them is that they are believing that if they go ahead and um you know basically pander to the people of color and the illegals they would be able to win more elections and they would be able to secure power and you're exactly right this is all about power i don't see any other play that the democrats have besides that um so you're exactly correct. If President Trump goes to the people and really speaks about what's going on, such as, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, what's going on at the border, the humanitarian crisis, how we need a border so that we can secure our, uh, you know, our country. I mean, I believe that he'll be able to get it. I don't think the Democrats are going to give him $15. Nancy Pelosi has said very clearly, you don't get $1. That's it. I think he declares a national emergency. And you know what? The fentanyl shipment yesterday, gosh, does that prove it? 150 million people. Look, it doesn't need to be big numbers. Mm -hmm. If you're one of the family members where, God forbid, your son or daughter is grabbed and brutally assaulted or killed, God forbid, that's one too many. And if that person could have been kept out from crossing the border 15 times, right, yep. then you're in favor of it. Look, Israel had a terrible illegal immigration problem with refugees coming in from Africa, thousands coming every year. You know how many they have now on their southern border after they built their wall? Zero. Nobody gets over the wall. Spain has a wall. Cyprus has a wall. Turkey has a wall. Jordan has a wall. Saudi Arabia has a wall. Hungary does. Bulgaria does. All of these countries, Austria, they have walls because people need to come through the authorized checkpoints to be verified and to qualify, right? Yep. Every single person that says no wall, it's racist, do they leave their doors open at night with a sign saying, hey, creepy guys, come on in. Of course not, because that's stupid. Why do you leave the country's door open with a sign that says, creepy guys, come on in?